we finally got the news and cover review for NBA 2K24. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jokes here. And today, we finally got some excited and upcoming news about NBA 2K24 that we've all been waiting for in the 2K community. Yes, you heard that right. Today is the day that we finally got the cover review we've all been waiting for. And they even included some of the drops that we're going to be getting throughout the year and some of the new content. So let's just dive right into it. Alright, so let's check out these covers, man. So as we've seen so far on Twitter, there's going to be two editions with Kobe Bryant on the cover. We're going to be seeing the Kobe Bryant edition and the regular Legend edition. Now, just like last year, the Michael Jordan edition with the Kobe edition is probably going to be a little more expensive, but there's going to be some type of deal or bundle within it. But the Legend edition is going to be standard, probably a $100 edition, and we're going to sit Kobe Bryant cover, so I'm super excited for it. Now, I've seen a ton of mixed reviews based on the cover we're getting with Kobe Bryant. A lot of people are saying it looks cheaply done and doesn't look well made at all. But I think the main reason that 2K put Kobe Bryant on this cover is because with it being 2K24, we get to see Kobe Bryant wearing his iconic 24 on the cover. And it's just a great way to honor the late and great Kobe Bryant, man. Now, as of the time I'm recording this, there hasn't been a confirmed player who's going to be on the other editions of the game, but one thing I know is that a lot of people want to see Steph Curry or Jason Tatum on the cover, and we haven't really gotten a Curry cover since 2K16, and it wasn't even just him on the cover, so I'm really hoping we get to see a Curry cover, but I don't be so mad with Jason Tatum either. And a lot of people are wondering, and 2K has covered this on Twitter, but the official day 2K24 will be available to pre-order is July 7th. And man, I don't know about you guys, but I'm picking myself up a copy right when it comes out from pre-order, man. I'm hoping this 2K is going to be great. Now, as of the time I'm recording this, nothing has been confirmed yet about gameplay or my career stuff. But one thing I do hope is that we get to see a new rep system or one of our old rep systems back. I personally really hope they bring back pie charts or the OG rookie legend. I'm tired of getting sweated on by 6'8 or 6'9 builds that can do everything in my career, bruh. Now, one thing that 2K has showed us is what the graphics are going to be looking like this year. Here we can see Froby wearing his iconic number 8, and on the right we can see Kobe wearing his iconic number 24 in his later stages of his career. And, I, and if you look closely, you can see the finals patch on his jersey, and maybe that means we're getting something new or they're adding more attention to detail in this game, but I'm super stoked. Now, hopefully my past predictions might be right because it seems that 2K has been finally listening to the community and I have some extremely exciting news to share with you guys. NBA 2K24 will finally, finally be crossplay between all console players. Yes, you heard that right. 2K has finally given us something that we've been asking for for ages. Other sports games have already done this, like I know FIFA has and man, I'm so stoked that 2K finally hopped on the train and is finally listening to the community to try to make their game better. Now, as for my team or any other modes, we really haven't heard of anything yet or know anything that's confirmed. But one thing I probably can predict is that we won't be seeing a prelude or demo or anything like that because we haven't seen one since 2K21. And man, that's kind of a bummer for me because I like to test out the build system and everything so I know exactly what build I'm going to make. But you never know, 2K might go back to their old ways and give us a demo that we all want. Now this time last year, we already knew most of the stuff that was going to be happening for 2K23. But, you know, the cover just got announced, so hopefully we get to see some more stuff surrounding the rep system. Because man, I do not want to see another season system. Maybe keep it for my team because I like the leveling and reward system they have. But for my career, the rewards have been absolutely awful in the past couple of seasons, man. The game was great during season one, but the last couple seasons, there's no reward after your grind. Now for my my team players, you know, as of this time last year, when Devin Booker got announced on the cover, we saw an invincible Devin Booker locker code they're giving out for free. So maybe this year, I'm not saying it'll definitely happen, but hopefully I would love to see a Kobe Bryant invincible locker code. He's such a good card in my team, man. And we do know when 2K24 is going to be officially released. And that date's going to be September 8th. And I'm assuming that's again for Kobe. But I think it's earlier than last year. So that's a good thing on 2K's part. Now that's really all we know right now. But I really want to know what you guys are thinking on the cover. So leave a comment down below on your opinions on the cover. I personally like it. But I heard a lot of people really don't. But that's all I have for you guys right now. I'm signing off. Peace.